being extremely mindful when it comes to watching Quartz Crystal's videos and I feel like someone has to really lay it out on the table to what exactly it is. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you can see there's a bit of a time lapse. There's a time lapse because I had to go on the journey, gain life experience and just really be more accurate into my teachings. I really like her videos. Her videos are pretty much 100%, but it takes a mature person, preferably like 30 plus years of age or 28 plus years of age, to really understand her work. I mean, I just imagine the 40 year old watching those videos. Plus, it's not right for the young person. I honestly, if it's like an 18, 19 year old, you, you're better off watching these macho guys and hobnobbing with them because you will have your best life yet. That's what I actually ended up doing <laughs> because she opens the door a little bit, but you have to really fully push open the door and really go on that journey. You can tell that she really is in, she's in with the people that have game, but whether the people are soulless as in like computer simulation, this is the bit where I want to go deep in and put an awareness out there to be very careful with that line of thinking. Because if you go into that line of thinking, thinking about people are like computer simulation and they are soulless like that, it's going to alienate you. So when it comes to you living your best life yet, it's going to be extremely hard for you to do that. You just have to think about that for a moment. Now, what is true, living life experience, like going out there, having not a job and socializing and communicating and observing, not just being at home and whatever, is that people have the animal mind. People are in disempowerment from the past, from generation, and this goes back a long time. The difference between now and back then, let's just say from the Victorian times, is, is not that as obvious. We are quite supported by a system in the world that we live in, but the trap still lies. The trap is the technology. And unless you have done the work with your mind, you are going to be in that trap. If you want to call it the matrix, most welcome to. I don't really call it a matrix because that gets into the more science fiction kind of genre, but unfortunately people just flow or fly words here and there. It really is a system. Let's say you're feeling down and isolated and lonely. Go to the doctor and then you explain. Doctor may give, give you to a therapist or may give you antidepressants. And the reason why you're feeling this way is because perhaps, let's just say for example, you're not in the right group of people or mother was and your parents weren't good to you because of their pain and suffering because in their time they suffered in let's say the war or they were children of parents that suffered in the war and then that gets down passed on to generation so these are the problems when we look into this medical field they don't care they get commission they get their pay whatever honestly these consultants and that they're driving their nice cars okay um they're driving their nice cars and they have the nice houses and it is what it is you know you really honestly like you just go go near a hospital and, and just see you will see that's nice mercedes and long like saloon kind of car that's kind of what is, is more the right uh word to say is is a system than the matrix but there's of course the matrix of the mind but what it is really is a trapped mind because of not really being in the right environment of course if you're in a city you are bound to be stressed of course if you're in a group of people and they're all like the same and you're not of course it's going to give you a mental health problem so these are the elements we have to see. So coming back to Course Crystal in terms of going out there and live your best life yet, it's very difficult to do that if you are thinking, oh, that's like a soulless one, that's a soulless being. If you look into our videos, they give a lot of clues and a lot of information for the person that has done the inner work, that has done the journey, that's done the mind. And that really is really in another video to explain how to go about that. So that's what I really you find in her videos that's what it's really for for the person that has a bit of game in them and they and they want to understand about the world and all of that especially if you had that splinter in the mind that's actually how I came across her videos because I had that splinter in the mind of opening up to this and it was just no coincidence I came across her videos